the night. If I'd have known, I would have never pushed you to open up like that. But once I heard about the rape, I, uh, look, Marty, I know that a guy can't really relate to how terrible it must be, but, um, you know, I'm sorry. I would never would have put you on the defense. How dare you? What? How dare you go digging into my personal life and come here acting like you're oh so sympathetic? Marty, I don't I... need your sympathy. So why don't you just get up and get out of here? Uh, Todd, I realize you are upset today. But you're gonna have to work on getting your hostility under control. You feeling any better? Thanks for turning against me, Ray. I didn't turn against you. You're the leader of a pack of wolves, Ray. All I was doing was trying to make you dig a little deeper, Todd. That's yeah. all. My own grave. Listen, man, the answers to your rage are inside of you. And you're the only one that could get them out. I can't do this. Yes, you can. No, I can't do this whole group therapy thing. Look, the group dynamics change with every session, Todd. You can do it. Is it anybody listening to me? I said I can't do this, okay? If it means I have to go back to prison, then fine. But from here on in, that's it. It's over. All right. Sheila and I will talk about it. There is nothing to talk about. And will you please just leave me alone? Sure. We'll see you, Todd. So long, Todd. Sorry, if I'd have known about the rape, I would have never put you in that defensive position. Okay? How dare you? What? How dare you go digging into my personal life and then come here and act like you're oh so sympathetic. Marty, Look, I, I don't not... need your sympathy. So why don't you just get up and get out? Fine, you're not leaving, I will. Marty, wait. Why? Is there something else you want to know about me? Some other dirt you want to dig up? I did not go digging up about your past in the first place. Like, you may not believe that, but it's the truth. Look, I've got to get back to work. Would you just give me one minute? No, there's nothing okay. to talk about. Maybe not about you, but there's something I want to tell you about me. For once, Todd may be right. Maybe this is a mistake. You want to give up after two sessions? Look, Todd's the one who wants out of the group. And all I'm saying is that maybe it's not a bad idea. That way, he goes back to prison where he belongs, and everybody's happy. Powell. Hi. Uh, that was a good session for you today. You made some big breakthroughs. Well, it uh, felt like hell, but I'm glad I did it. Yeah, well, me too. So what are you doing still hanging around here? I mean, after a workout like that, you really deserve a break. Why not a movie? Go to the beach. Enjoy the summer. Well, actually, I was supposed to meet Rebecca here. Has anyone seen her? Mm -hmm. No. That's weird. I, I'm sure we were supposed to meet right here.
What happened? Talk to me. I think I've had enough talking for one day. Okay, okay. Okay, whatever you want. going anywhere. Let it go. Let all the pain out. Leave me alone. Todd, there's nothing wrong with showing me how you feel. Leave me alone, Rebecca. I'm not going to say it again. Get out of here. Todd! Now! Something that really hurt you. Now, what was it? I hate it. I hate it. Hate what? Ray, Sheila, this whole therapy thing. It's like I'm some kind of a frog in a high school dissection. Everything inside me, every feeling, every thought, they just keep poking at me, poking at me, and digging for more, and they just won't quit. They're only trying to help They me. hate me. They don't Powell hate does. You. Powell hates me. You should have heard him getting off today, telling everybody what a scum I was. Oh, yeah, that went over real big. Powell got an A in class today. Look, I know therapy can be hard. But if you just use those sessions to open up about how I you can. feel... I can't, Rebecca. No way yes, I can. Yes, you can. I've seen you. With me. At your mother's place at the River House. You told me things, Todd, about yourself, about how you feel. I saw a different Todd. I saw the real Todd. <laughs> how do you know? I mean, who knows what's real anymore? I know the real you. And if you open up in those sessions like you did with me... You cared. These people don't care if I live or die. I'm dropping out. You can't do that. I already did. I told the shrinks I'm through. No, but the governor said that if you don't go to therapy, then, then you're going back to prison. Todd, I don't care how bad therapy is. At least you're out. At least you have a chance for a future. Wrong. I don't have a future here, do I? Maybe you can talk to Ray. Maybe he can get it's you. It's not about. Prepared. It's not about Ray. It's not about Ray. It's not about the therapy. I had this this screwed up fantasy that when I got out, everything was going to be great. It can be. Wrong. Listen to me, Rebecca. The therapy is over. If I go back to prison, hey, I go back with a smile on my face. No. No, because I won't let you. I will never let you go back to that prison. Mm -hmm. 